Welcome to the Whole House House of Video for the Aura Quick In Home HIV Testing Kit. When it comes to HIV, knowing your status is really important. So, by taking this HIV test, you're doing the right thing. With the Aura Quick In Home HIV Test Kit, you can know your status in just 20 minutes. The results are completely confidential, and if you have any questions at any point during the test, you can call our Hope House social worker, Jessica Cox, to be linked to a test administrator via phone or Zoom. Taking the HIV test can be a little stressful, but don't worry. I'll be taking you step-by-step step through the test. Before we start, if you know you're HIV positive, are on treatment or preventative treatment for HIV, have participated in an HIV vaccine clinical trial, or if you're 16 or younger, this test is not for you. If you're feeling anxious about taking the test right now, which is totally normal, you may want to wait to take it with one of our test administrators on a Zoom call or in person with us. One last thing, don't eat drink or use or care products such as mouthwash, toothpaste, or whitening strips 30 minutes before starting this test. And remove any dental products such as dentures or any other products that cover your gums. Okay, first you'll need to find a confidential, quiet, and well-lit place where you can hang out for at least 20 minutes. Make sure you have a timer or watch that can time 20 to 40 minutes. If you use eyeglasses to read, be sure to have them nearby to read the instructions and see your results. This is your test kit. Make sure you read the information on the back of the box. Check the tamper evident seal and the expiration date. Open it up. Inside are step-by-step -step directions. Follow them carefully to be sure your results are correct and give the testing process your undivided attention. Pull out the lower drawer. Everything is arranged in order to make it really easy to follow. Take out the packet labeled test tube. Now, tear open the packet. Be careful, there's liquid at the bottom of the tube. Be sure to hold the tube upright. Don't twist off the test tube cap. Just gently pop it off. If the liquid spills, don't use the test. You'll need to get another test. Don't drink the liquid in the test tube. Now put the test tube in the holder. Okay. Now that we've done that, take out the next packet. The packet will be labeled test stick. Tear open the packet and remove the test stick. Being careful not to touch the pad with your fingers. The great thing about this test is that there's no blood involved. You just gently swipe the pad along your upper gums once and your lower gums once. Make sure you swipe each gum only once or your results could be wrong. You can use either side of the pad. Now, put the test stick directly into the test tube. Flat pad first, window facing you. Don't take the test stick out of the test tube or your results will be wrong. Inside the drawer, you'll find a pencil. Use it to write down the start time of your test. You're also gonna write down 20 minutes from the start time. That's the time when your test will be finished. Then, then you're going to write down the time 40 minutes from the start time. This is your expiration time. 
After 40 minutes, the lines on the test stick may be overdeveloped and your results will not be accurate. Now open the flap and fold it to remain open so that it covers the test stick. You will find the flap on page six of your instruction guide. The test stick window will turn pink for a few minutes and it's okay, that's how the test works. Now while you wait 20 minutes for your results, read the booklet, HIV Testing and Me, for information about HIV. After 20 minutes, close the flap to see your results. Compare your test stick to the pictures and descriptions on page 7B to find out what your test result is. If there is one line next to the C and no line next to the T, your test result is negative. If there are two lines, one next to the C and any line next to the T, even a faint line, you may have HIV. If your results don't look like either of these examples, or if there are no lines on the test stick, it means your test is not working. Now that you've finished taking the test, please read this booklet, What Your Results Mean to You, to learn what this means to be sure your result is correct and for guidance about next steps. Once you're done with your test kit, take the tube and put the cap back on. So that it's ready for disposal. The kit comes with the bag to maintain your confidentiality. You throw all the items, including the test kit the stick, and the tube into this baggie and toss it into your trash. We hope this video shows how simple it can be to learn about your HIV status privately. If you're interested in using this in-home kit, please contact us through our website at www.hopehousememphis.org under the How We Serve tab. Remember that knowledge is power, and now that you know your status, you now have the power.